Son to the Lord. Let's glorify his name. He's the reason for our living, the essence of our existence. We are what we are because of him. Let's magnify him. Let's glorify his name. He's the same yesterday and today and forever. He's the uncreated creator, the unchangeable changer, the unkillable killer, the unmakeable maker. The one who can do all things and no plan of this can be thwarted. Let's magnify him. Let's extol his holy name. He's the same yesterday and today and forever. He's so big that ever cannot contain him. And he made the whole earth his foot too. He has the longest leg. He has the biggest eyes. He's seated in heaven and overseeing the entire affairs of the universe. He's the same yesterday. Let's worship him. Let's adore him. Let's glorify his name. Let's magnify him. There is nothing he cannot do. He made the blind to see. He made the lame to walk. He made the man to, he made the woman to conceive. Without meeting with a man and gave birth to our Lord Jesus Christ. He brought water from the rock. He turned fire, brought to fine ball. Let's celebrate him. He brought money from the mouth of the fish and turned fish to ATM machine. Let's celebrate him. He brought water from the rock. Bring possibility in the midst of impossibility. Made the way where there seems to be no way. Let's celebrate this God. Let's celebrate his majesty. Let's celebrate his sovereignty. We are what we are because of him. Let's magnify him. Let's magnify him. Let's magnify him. In Jesus' name, we have given worship. Your amen does not carry fire. Your amen does not carry fire. And Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. We adore you. We reference you. We magnify you. We extol your holy name. You are what you say you are. You have not been reduced in power. Your glory has not faded away. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. The uncreated creator. The unchangeable changer. The unkillable killer. The unmakeable maker. The one who can do all things. Let's celebrate his majesty. We celebrate your supremacy. You are the same yesterday and today and forever. What can you not do? You made the blind to see. What can you not do? You made the deaf to hear. What can you not do? You made the dumb to speak. What can you not do? You bring possibility in the midst of impossibility. What can you not do? You brought money from the mouth of the fish and turned fish to ATM machine. What can you not do? You made the woman to conceive without meeting with a man and gave back to our Lord Jesus Christ. What can you not do? You turned five brought to five born. What can you not do? You brought water from the rock. Make the way where there is to be no way. Calling what is not as if they were. We celebrate you. We celebrate you. Father, be exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, we have come unto you to be blessed of you. Bless us from above. In the name of Jesus. On this podium, let man of God disappear. Say amen to that prayer. Let the God of man appear. Say amen to that prayer. Let every arm of flesh disappear. Let the God of all flesh appear. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let man be reduced. Let God alone be exalted. Let the voice of man cease. Let the voice of God be heard. In the mighty name of Jesus. This morning, whoever hears me will hear God. In the name of Jesus. At the end of this ministration, both the speaker and the realist shall be blessed together and all the glory will be returned unto you. Thank you, King of Glory, for I pray in Jesus' name. Anywhere God can find the loudest, amen, may God show up in your life. Anywhere God find the loudest, amen, may God manifest himself in that life. Anywhere God can find the loudest, amen, may the power of dominion possess him. In the name of Jesus. While we are still standing, we want to celebrate our parents in the Lord. If you are sending, if you are clapping, clap. They are parents of parents. Daddy, 
and no card that are deboye. A mommy follow a deboye. If you are clapping, clap it. Our daddy is the daddy of daddies. Our mommy is the mommy of mommies. If you are clapping, clap very well. If you are celebrating God in their life, celebrate very well. He is the pastor that Bishop called Father. You are not saying it. You are not clapping. You are not clapping. Celebrate God in the life of our Father. We celebrate God in the life of our Father and our Mother in the Lord. Mommy and Daddy. And Okadejare and Mommy Fulwa Deboi. For this platform, he has given to the younger generation of the redeemed Christian Church of God to express themselves. Daddy and Mommy, you will not diminish in grace. Say amen to that. Our mommy will not diminish in grace. They will not diminish in glory. They will go from strength to strength. Your amen is too lazy. They will go from power to power. In the name of Jesus. They will finish strong and finish well. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your amen does not carry fire. We want to celebrate going the life of our intercontinental youth pastor. If you are doing it, do it very well. Our Father, the Lord, we celebrate you, sir. If you are celebrating God, celebrate God. You are not celebrating because of his appearance, but because of what he carries. Let's celebrate God. That God will keep strengthening him. Very, very energetic, strong, unrelenting, full of resilience. That his strength will not fail him. As he goes from place to place, God will suffer no man to do him evil. God will rebook kings for his sake. That's how we celebrate you, sir. We, increase, we celebrate God in your life and mommy for the privilege. You may just look at your neighbor. That it just occurred to me now. Talk to your neighbor. It just occurred to me now. You are not talking. Talk to your neighbor. It just occurred to me now. That since I came into this auditorium, I have not formally and officially greeted you. And I want to greet you now. And I want to congratulate you for sitting by my side. It's a, an opportunity. A real privilege. Because any moment from now, my level is changing. Now that you are privileged to sit by my side, shake the ad now when it's available. Because when level changes, friendship can change. New level, new friends. Shake the hand very well now. And I pray for you after this encounter of this international youth conference your level will change in Jesus name you may please take your seat I'm to speak on exp exposition on dominion I will say a few things for we know in part and we prophesy in part and I want us to be attentive Dominion refers to the authority and responsibility given by God to humanity, to rule, to govern, and to manage his creation. It is a responsibility given by God to humanity, to rule, to govern and to manage his creation. Dominion is the power to exercise control or sovereignty over the earth as entrusted by God. 
But look at this clause. It comes with the duty to steward and care for creation in a way that reflects character of God. Every man is created in the image of God, in his likeness, for the purpose of dominion. And listen very well today. If you are not going to dominate, God will change your image. If you are not going to dominate, God will dislike you. But in his likeness, he created you for the purpose of dominion. If you must retain your image, you must exercise dominion. If you don't want God to dislike you, you know, you were created in his likeness. If you will not exercise dominion, you can be disliked. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. None of you will be disliked. Dominion is the essence of, of your existence. Genesis 1.26 Then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. Dominion is the essence of your existence. It is the reason for your living. You are not free to live until you have dominion. Like I said, you were created in his likeness for you to have dominion. If you refuse to have dominion, he will dislike you. If not for the purpose of dominion, God could have made you a fish swimming in the water, waiting for the fisherman to what? To catch with hook and roast you with pepper. If not for the purpose of dominion, he could have made you a cattle. He could have made you a cockroach. He could have made you a chicken. Raised to be roasted. He could have made you a dog. Backing outside. Our God constitutes nuisance to the neighborhood. By creation, you are meant to have dominion. He created man. But use the word, them, for dominion. Look at that Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. The media display. Remove picture and put scripture. Then God said, remove picture and put scripture. For inside the scripture is the picture of Jesus. For it is the one that told to become flesh and dwell among men. Put the scripture on the screen and remove my picture. Then God said, let us make man in our image. After our likeness. And let them have dominion. God said, let us make man. He didn't say, let us make men. If you have used the word men, then, that they may have dominion. That cannot go with man. That can only go with men. It was a man he created. It was them he gave dominion. Because inside the man was the them. You and I was the them. So when he was talking to Abraham at creation, he was looking at you and I. He created man. But when he was to give dominion, he did not limit the power of dominion to the man he created alone. He extended it to every man that will come out of that man. That was why he used and he gave them according to our likeness 
Let them have dominion. It could have been, let him have dominion. But it was man, he created, not man. But he said, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. Whatever I said this morning, whether you are there at the beginning or not, God saw you ahead of time to release your own power of dominion too. He did not only create you to dominate, he empowered you to dominate. Genesis 1 26 says, and he blessed them. He could have been and he blessed him. To be blessed is to be empowered. To be blessed is to be given capacity. God will never ask you to become what he has not given the capacity to become. He will never ask you to do what he has not given you the capacity to do. He created you for dominion and he also empowered you for dominion. That's what's right in Genesis 1, 28. And God blessed them. God empowered them to be fruitful, to multiply, to replenish, to subdue, and to have dominion. Dominion is not just talking it. Dominion is not just shouting it. Dominion is in acting it. You act dominion. You don't just talk it. You don't just shout it. You act it. You put it into action. In your doings, in everything you do. Dominion is not just about ruling. It's about accepting responsibility. It's about serving God's purposes and expanding his kingdom on earth. Not that. Let us walk in the authority that God has given us. Living lives that honor him and reflect his dominion over all creation. Dominion is about becoming giant of faith in the secular arena. Dominion is about becoming giant of faith in the secular arena. Daniel was a giant of faith in the secular arena. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were giant of faith in the secular arena. Joseph was a giant of faith in the secular arena. You don't have to carry the title to be able to fight the battle. Carry the title with the entitlement. Why? Because you have been empowered to dominate anywhere you find yourself. Hear me, brother. How can you be in a place and they're looking for another person? Go and ask your neighbor. Rest up on your feet. How can you be in a place and they're still asking for another person? Jump up on your feet. Ask that your friend. How can you be in a place and they're asking for another person? How can your presence be equal to your absence. Go and ask three people, how can you be in a place and they are asking for another person? How can your presence be equal to your absence? How can you carry God and you remain ordinary? Talk to your neighbor. You don't need platform to perform. Your performance can give you platform. For greater performance. Go and announce to five people. You don't need platform to perform. It is performance. That give platform. Go and tell five people. You don't need platform to perform. If you want to exercise dominion. It is your performance. That gives you platform. Men of dominion. Don't struggle for position. They rather opt for performance that give back to position. They don't lobby for position because they don't want to remain in the lobby. They don't settle for entitlement. They don't settle. 
battle for title without entitlement. They don't. They don't. They don't. But go for mantle that produce entitlement. David was not on the throne yet. He was in control. Why? Because your ability to have dominion is not traceable to position you occupy. It's in the DNA. Pick me, we say it's in you. Say it is in me. It's not on the seat. Go and tell your neighbor. Power to have dominion. Say louder to your neighbor. Power to have dominion. He's not in the office of provincial pastor. He's not in the office of general manager. He's not in the office of executive pastor. The power is inside of me. Men of dominion don't seek for position. They seek for performance. You hear me? Power of dominion is not in the office of any, any title order. Power of dominion is in me. Say it is in me. It is in me. You can be on the throne and not be in control. If you don't have it, you don't have it. If you don't have it, you can't fake it. If you fake it, you will soon fade away. For every fake thing, we fade away with time. That one, you can't fake it. If you fake it, it will soon fade away. You must have it to act it. Hear me, brother. Our understanding of dominion must change. Because we have attacked dominion to title. We have attacked dominion to position. We have attacked dominion to big, big title. You don't need title. Hear me, brother. David became an actor. In the battle, he was not a leaster to fight. When he showed up, they belittled him. Unknowing to them that inside the little boy is the mantle to fight the battle, carry the title with the entitlement. You may carry title and cockroach will chase you out of bedroom. Understand it when you have it. You have every benefit attached to men and women of dominion. You can't work in dominion if you lack sense of accepting and taking responsibility. If you don't accept responsibility, you become a liability and a bundle of problems to your generation. Hear me this morning. How do I work in dominion? Number one, understand your identity and work in the consciousness of your identity. Because the consciousness of your identity will serve as a stronghold in the day of adversity. Psalm 49 verse 20. A man who is in honor yet does not understand is like the beast that perish. A man with honor. Look at it. A man that is in honor and understand not it is like the beast that perish. You can be a man of dominion when you lack the understanding you perish like a beast. I prophesy to you, you will not perish like a beast. You must be conscious of it. God is your source. Be conscious of your identity. That God is your source. 
Because your source determines your size. Your source determines what? Your size. Any front can never give back to rat. Never. Elephant will give back to elephant. The very day elephant gives back, it gives back to an elephant. The very day snake gives back to snake, the poison of a small snake is as killy as the poison of a big snake. There is no small snake. There is no small snake. There is no big snake. There is no small oligos. There is no big oligos. There is no female oligos. There is no male oligos. In manifestation, there is no discrimination. In only ghost manifestation. There is not, there is not like America only ghost. There is not like Africa only ghost. Only ghost is only ghost. There is no Lagos only ghost. There is no Abba only ghost. There is no Kano only ghost. There is no Kaduna only ghost. Only ghost is only ghost. There is no old Holy Ghost. There is no youth Holy Ghost. There is no Holy Ghost for Heather. No Holy Ghost for children. Holy Ghost is Holy Ghost. Like one of my pastors would say, if a small child can be possessed with, with, with craft, then a small child can also be possessed with Holy Ghost craft. Because in only God's manifestation, there is no gender discrimination, no age discrimination, no racial discrimination. So your source is your size. You must walk with that identity that I came from God. Psalm 8, verse 3. Your source determines your size. Psalm 8, verse 3. Say, so when I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the star, which you have ordained, what is man that you are mindful of him? Hear me very well today. For God to be mindful of you, if for the mind of God to be full of you, why would God not be mindful of you? Because part of God has been transferred to you at creation. When it breathed into your nostril and you became a living soul, that breath is called Zoe. The personality of God was transferred to you at creation. What made God to be God was transferred to you at creation. The spirit that walked in God was transferred to you at creation. What does that imply? It implies that what determines you it's not the container, it's the content. Because what makes you to be you? It's not the you that is looking at me. It's the you that is in you. So you must understand that. That God is mindful of man. Very, very mindful of man. He look at the moon. He look at the star. Let me tell you something, brethren. When moon appears, they sit everywhere. When star appears, they sit everywhere. As conspicuous as they appear, God is not mindful of them. You, as you are seated, you are not everywhere at the same time. When you are here, nobody can see you in Kenna Market. But if moon should appear here, they will see moon in Kenna Market. If star should appear here, they will see star in Kenna Market and everywhere. Meaning that, the mindfulness of God towards you is not a function of your appearance. It's a function of the connection between you and God. So what is man that God is mindful of him? Because part of God has been transferred to man at creation. God can't do without you. You and God at the level. 
you are connected. Nobody can separate you. Sin made an attempt to separate you from God. And God could not let go. Why? Because part of God has been given to you. And the gift of man, our gift of God, is without repentance. Let me tell you, to let you know how valuable, how important you are. When man sold himself to the devil, and God was to buy man back, he could have bought you with the blood of goat. But the blood of goat is too cheap and too small for your personality. He had to use his own blood to do your redemption. What is the meaning of that? Valid price is the value attached to any type of commodity in monetary time. To show how valuable you are can be determined by the price placed on you. So the price God placed on you is the price of his own blood. Blood. So God had to come in front of a man offering himself as a sacrifice at Golgotha for you to be bought back. So you are so important that God cannot ignore you. You are so loaded that you can never be defeated. Heavens of heaven cannot contain God. He made the whole earth his full too. As big as God was, that the whole heavens of heaven cannot contain him. And he made the whole earth his full too. God is so big that heaven cannot contain him. He had to make the whole earth his full too. That same God wrap up himself and throw himself into your life. And I say, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Go and tell your neighbor, I am too loaded to be defeated. Go and announce to five people, I am too loaded to be defeated. invested so much into you that I cannot let go. That is why where his treasure is, that is where his heart will be. That is why God is always mindful of you. I'm still talking about exposition on dominion. Say so when I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the star, which you have ordained, what is man that you are mindful of him? The son of man that you visit him. God will abandon everything and pay man a visit. At the cool of the day, even in the garden of Eden, the son of man that you visit him. For you have made him a little lower than the angels. You have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands, you have put all things under his feet. He has put one thing under your feet. He has put one thing under your feet. He has put two things under your feet. He has put a few things under your feet. He has put a few things under your feet. How many does he put under your feet? Say it louder. Say it louder. Say it louder. Say it louder. Including the devil that want to stop you, he has put him under your. Now listen before I run off. Number two way to walk in dominion, having understood your identity, is to be possessed with indomitable spirit of God. An indomitable spirit refer to an unyielding and resilient, unconquerable attitude in the face of adversity. I come again. Another way to work in dominion is to be possessed with indomitable spirit. What is indomitable spirit? It refers to an unyieldy, resilient, unconquerable attitude in the face of adversity. When you carry this indomitable 
spirit, you advance in adversity. You have the ability to remain strong, persistent, and optimistic despite challenges or setback. You remain optimistic. You remain strong and persistent. You remain strong despite challenges or setback. You don't take no for an answer. You become optimistic in the midst of challenge. To be optimistic is to see possibility in the midst of problem. To be pessimistic is to see problem in the midst of opportunity. You become advancing in the face of adversity. Let me give you one Bible portion that struck me. Judges chapter 8 verse 4. The man in media displayed Judges 8 verse 4. See what the Bible says. And Gideon came to Jordan and passed over. He and 300 men that were with him fight yet pursuing them. Hear me, brother. How can a man be fainting and be pursuing? A man that faint should go and sit down. A man that faint should have assumed to be failing. They were fainting, or God put the scripture. They were fainting. Yet, pursuing them. A, and Gideon came to Jordan and passed over. He and 300 men, they were what? With him. Faint, yet, pursuing. He had a brother. You have no excuse to fail. That you are not born with gold this spoon in your mouth. It's not an excuse for you to fail. Even when your strength is failing you, keep pursuing. A man with indomitable spirit can be fainting, yet pursuing. Car. He's tired, yet running. Go out tell your neighbor. If you wait, you will waste. No more waiting. No more looking. No more sleeping. Keep running. Keep pursuing. Keep pursuing. Keep pursuing. They were fighting. Yet pursuing. These are men that walk in dominion. With an indomitable spirit. They don't take no for an answer. They advance in adversity. What stop others don't stop them. What kill others don't kill them. What limit others don't limit them. What overcome others don't overcome them. They were fighting yet pursuing. I prophesy to you. What stop them in your family will not stop you. What stop your father will not stop you. Where your mother stop, you will not stop there. What all them to ransom in your lineage? We're not all doing to ransom. We're not all doing to ransom. We're not all doing to ransom. People with indomitable spirit often exhibit courage, determination, perseverance, refusing to be defeated by life's difficulty. Hear me, brother. The top. It's not meant for the coward. Go and tell somebody. Say the top is not meant for the coward. No, 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 no. The top is meant for men of indomitable spirit who will never take no for an answer. The art of an indomitable spirit man cannot fail him in the face of life battle. First Samuel 1732. First Samuel. 1732, quickly. First Samuel. And David said to Saul, Hear me. Let no man's heart fail him. 
because of him. Thy servant will go and fight this Philistine. You want to walk in dominion? You must possess a spirit of indomitable. Okay, put the scripture on the screen. Stop showing me in Jesus' name. Show the scripture. And then he said to Saul, the entire army of Israel were held in Torah for 40 days. When David showed up, he knew where the problem was. That the problem was not in the number of their weapon. The problem was not lack of weapon, was not lack of strength, was not lack of energy, was not lack of God's backing. The problem was their heart. You can't be made an ego and be thinking like a chicken. You will never fly. walk in dominion must possess indomitable spirit let no mass act fail you I pray for you in the day that matters in the battle of life your heart will not fail you I say your heart will not fail you men who are in control even when they are not on the throne David was not on the throne, yet in control of the battle, he was not enlisted to fight. He became an actor where he was meant to be a spectator. He became a one-man battalion in the battle against the Philistines. He was initially belittled, but he showed up with power. Men who don't lose their position in the face of opposition are the men with indomitable spirit for them to walk in dominion. God has not given us the spirit of timidity, but of power, of love, and of sound mind. Another thing to do to walk in dominion Is to be fruitful. Until you are fruitful, you are not useful. Until you are fruitful, you are useless. Be result oriented. Be a go getter. Fruitfulness is beyond procreation. Fruitfulness is producing the kind of God that God has produced in you. You can procreate and not be fruitful. But you cannot be fruitful and not procreate. To be fruitful is to give back to your kind spiritually. In order to expand the kingdom of the Most High. God has produced His kind in us. And we have been mandated and empowered to produce His kind in others. For us to walk in dominion, we must replenish. We must remain under authority. Let me put this to the rest up. You must remain under authority for you to walk in dominion. If you are not under authority, you will lose your identity and end up in captivity. It is the authority you have in Christ, Jesus, that make you superior to the devil. Luke 9.1 He gave us power and authority over the devils, demons, and all evil spirits. If you don't submit to the authority of God, you will lose your authority over the devil. James 4.7 Therefore, submit to God Resist the devil and will flee from you. Until you submit to the authority of God, you can never exercise authority over creation, 
over powers and principalities. If you are not under authority, you will end up in captivity. If you are not under authority, you will lose your authority over the devil. Let me tell you something. Devil, anybody that tells you that devil is not powerful is, is deceiving you. Devil is powerful, but not all powerful. What gives you edge over the devil is not because you are as powerful as the devil. It's because the power you exercise over the devil, you will remain under authority. Let me give you an instance as I begin to wrap up. Let me liken the devil to a dismissed soldier who was dismissed and as, as at the time he was dismissed, his uniform was not taken away from him. So he used the same uniform he was wearing when he was seen in the active service to harass people all over the places. Nobody who wears soldier's uniform I entered this place or anywhere and not harass anybody. Because with the uniform, you will think it's an original army or soldier. We harass, he has been dismissed. No longer authority. Now another soldier who is still under authority can arrest a man claiming to be soldier with uniform who is no longer authority. We have seen fake soldiers be arrested by another soldier. Why? What made difference? They wear the same uniform. They carry the same strength. But one is under authority. The other one is no longer authority. So a soldier of Christ that is under authority can arrest the devil who is a dismissed soldier and put him under control. Rise up on your feet. Say to him, I am a soldier under authority. Say it louder. Say it louder. Say it louder. Devil has been dismissed. Say it louder. He's only wearing uniform to harass you. Oh my God. He's no longer under authority. Today, every fake soldier shall be arrested. In your family, no more harassment. You hear me? The harassment of the devil is illegal. The day the original soldier will discover a fake soldier, that is the day the power of this fake soldier will be put to rest. But you hear me? As I begin to round off, if you are no longer under authority, one of the things that keep you under authority is obedience and submission. Devil want to reduce your destiny to his level. So you too can become a fake soldier of Christ. So I can torment you. That is why it will make you to disobey and be arrogant. He disobey and puffed up a devil with pride and he was cast out of heaven. Devil knew what made him to fall. He's not a creator. He's an imitator of what the creator has created. He has no originality in his agenda. He's going about not even like a lion, like a roaring lion. Everything devil fake. No originality in the devil. You hear me, brethren? If you don't submit to the authority of this great God, you will lose your power of dominion. As I close today, I want to tell you this. John 3, 8. The Bible says, as the wind blew it, where it listed, John 3, 8. As the wind blew it, where it listed, and that he heard the sound thereof, but cannot tell where it comes and whether it goes. So is everyone that is born 
of the spirit. Hear this very carefully. When you are born again, you are born of the spirit. Because God is a spirit. And when you are born of the spirit, you operate like a wind. That's one of the, another dimension to dominion. When you operate like a wind, where you want to go, you go. The Bible says, wind blew it. Or God displayed the scripture. Where the wind blew it, where it leaks it. What do you want to become in life? You become it. Where you want to go in life, you go. The extent to which you want to rise, you rise. Because you have power of dominion. You are unstoppable, unarrestable, unmolestable. Why? Because you operate like a wind. Nobody can stand on the way of the wind. Nobody can hold the wind into ransom. Nobody can tie wind down. Nobody can barricade the wind. There is nothing like close door to wind. Close your place. Wind will enter. You become unstoppable. Anywhere you go, you go. Nobody can stop you. When you operate like a wind. But hear me today. They can't see you. They can't touch you. But they cannot deny your effect. Say, so wind blows. We are at least it. And now hearing the sound. You are hearing the sound. You can't see it. You can't touch it. You can't stop it. You can't hold it. You can't tie it down. And you are hearing the testimony. Your life today will begin to open like a wind. You go to where you want to go. You become what you want to become. You achieve what you want to achieve. They don't know where you are coming from. They don't know where you are going. And they cannot deny the effect. They are hearing your testimony. They don't know how you are doing it. Why? Because you are born of the Spirit. What is the meaning of that? That means if you are not born of the Spirit, they will know where you are coming from. They will know where you are going. They will see you. They will hold you. They will tie you down. They will capture you. See, we make you visible for the enemy to attack. See, we make you to sink. See, we make you to stink. See, we make you visible for the enemy to attack. See, we make you tangible for the enemy to molest. But when you operate like someone who's born of the spirit, you operate like a wind. Nobody can see you. Nobody can touch you. Nobody can hold you. They don't know how you are doing it. They are seeing results. They can't deny the effect of your results. Why? Because you are operating like a wind. I prophesy to everyone here today. After this encounter, your glory becomes invisible for the enemy to attack. See, we make you tangible. We make you a physical object to hold. Nobody can hold the wind. Everybody do like this. Can you hold anything? Nobody can hold you. You become unholdable for any power. But see, we make you visible. Close your eyes. I want to pray for you. You want to walk in dominion and you are totally with sin. Sin will make you sink and make you stink and never make you get to the place of your destination. Said the wind blew it where it listed. Nobody can stop wind from blowing. Nobody. 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 Hear me, brother. Whoever stands on the way of the wind shall be blown away. Nobody can stand on the way to progress. Nobody can stand on the wheel of your progress when you open like a wind. But if you allow sin to turn you to a living object, enemy will attack you and block you on your way to greatness. You are still turning with sin. And you are struggling with it. And you want God to help you out. I remember when I was to defend my first master's 
in economics, MSc economics. My topic was the impact of interest rate on service mobilization and investment in Nigeria. And one doctor said, what are people still saving? I answered inside me, if they are not saving, that's why I want to do the research. But the woman said, you will not schedule with this topic, you may have to go and look for another topic. I thought this woman was joking. The day of the defense came, three of us were to defend. The first person defended, approved and applauded. Second person defended, approved and applauded. When it was my turn, we received a knock. Somebody peeped. I said, excuse me, partner. Somebody want to see so-so person. The woman stepped out. By the time she stepped out, I was already stabilized, defending. The woman walked in and said, excuse me, partner. I have a visitor from Ibadan. And as a matter of urgency, I want to go and attend to him. The woman walked away. I defended, approved, and applauded. You hear me? I never knew what God did. By the time I finished, the coordinator of PG school called me and said, Shola, what did you do that made that woman to walk away at the point of your defending? He had vowed, and you know, whatever he says here, yeah, stand. But somehow, somehow, she left when you were about to defend. What am I saying? You can't operate like a wind. And somebody will stand on your way. When you stand to move, the way will blow them away. I pray for you today. No power will be able to stop you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Hear me? When you accept dominion, you become unstoppable. As a student on campus, you are one. Or shake it out, block E1. Inside my room was short man devil. Bobla and Walata. My bunkmate was a short man devil. Upper bunkmate. Inside my room was bed. They belonged to a fraternity. A whole wardrobe was dedicated for costumes. Nobody dare come to me for my fellowship. Then the bunkmate went to go and sell his space and brought another bunk from his house by my side. He slept by my side. I never preached one day. When fire eat him overnight, he woke me up. Baba Shole, I want to give my life to Christ. He had me, brother. When you ex exercise the power of dominion, nobody can stop you. And they were thinking, while that was smoking the room, I woke him out. He thought, I also belong to a court. Because in our campus that time, we have a fraternity and black heart. So they thought I belong to black cat. And I said, I don't belong to black cat, I belong to white cat. And for your information, I'm also a court member. And they said, What do you mean? I enter his gate with thanksgiving in my mouth. I enter his court with praise. As you are looking at me, I'm also a court member. But my court can swallow your court. Hear me? If you are not born again, enemy will use your destiny for pepper soup. Close your eyes. You are struggling with sin. Before I pronounce blessing upon your life. Anywhere you are come here, there is a God that can help you. If you cover your sin, you will never prosper. But if you confess your sin, he will show you mercy. You have been struggling with one sin or the other. The part that stopped them in your family will also stop you. Anywhere you are, come to the front and say, Lord Jesus, I want to have you as my personal. If you are coming, come very fast. Be very fast. Be very fast. Be very fast. Be very fast. If you are coming wrong, no, 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 no. If you don't come, they will use you for pepper soup. Anywhere you are, come quickly. Come, 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 come. Come, come. Yeah, I am. I want to leave this place with the power of dominion. Be very fast. Step out your hands to God. There is a sin that can clear our mess. Step out your hand quickly. If you are coming, come fast. Don't allow the enemy to molest you.
said, Lord Jesus, I am very sorry. I have messed up. But that is a mercy that can clear my mind. Here I am before you this morning. I want to walk in dominion. I don't want to be stopped in life. On the power of God to rest upon me. I want to confess him as my personal Lord and Savior. I want to renounce the devil and the works of the devil. And I want God to show up for me. If you confess your sin, he will forgive you. If you forsake your sin, he will cleanse you and purify you. Say, Lord, I'm very sorry. I have mixed up. Forgive me of my sins. Show me mercy. Let the rod of judgment be averted over my life. Give me the grace that conquers sin. Uphold me with your grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we commit this our son unto your most able hand. They have come open to confess their sins. Renounce it. And accept you. As their personal Lord and Savior. Have your way in their life. Write their name in the book of life. Give them grace to conquer sin. Uphold them from falling. Let them not go back to their vomit. In the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. Your hands up. Everybody say three times. And I drop the mic. Say. I'm created for dominion. Operating like a wind. Say Lord, I say I am created for dominion. Born of the spirit. Operating like a wind. What I want to become, I become. What I want to achieve, I achieve. Where I want to go, I go. What I want to achieve, I achieve. No more limitation. No more barrier. No more obstacle. In the name of Jesus. Go and dominate. Go and possess your possession. Go and add God's glory. Go and be what you are destined to be. Go and conquer. Go and confront. Go and win. Go and succeed. Go and expand. Go and replenish. Go and subdue. Go and multiply. Go and be fruitful. Go and dominate. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Wow.